put my pot on a medium heat and I went in there with a tablespoon and a half of olive oil and that's a light olive oil that's why it's so clear you can use vegetable oil, coconut oil, canola oil, corn oil it's totally up to you what you use and I'm using a non-stick pan strict rules for my mom whenever you make fry aloo because it's very oily use a non-stick pan so I'm just following what mommy tell me to do if you're not using a non-stick pan you'll anywhere from two to three tablespoons of oil you will need because you don't want this to stick in but well yeah you want it to stick a little bit because that caramelization that will happen to the potatoes hey I'm telling you boy that's where that flavor lives you know gonna go in with a whack of garlic I like a lot of garlic in there. I'm just going to move that around a little bit and I'm going to turn my heat down to low because I don't want to burn the garlic. However, I do want to flavor the oil that's down. I add some fresh brown black pepper in there as well too because I find at this point here it wakens up the flavors of that fresh brown black pepper. And we're really not trying to get color on the garlic except if it does happen, that is a bonus as well too. So very low heat for about two to three minutes. It's now time to add all of the potato in there. And I have seven medium sized potato, which was peeled, um, washed and peeled and sliced thinly. And I'm just gonna move it around just a little bit there. Then on top of that, I'm going in with an onion and that is a medium sized onion and something that's totally optional that is a scotch bonnet pepper and if you're paying attention you would have seen this recipe shared yo know, many many moons ago on caribbeanpod.com i believe there's a video on youtube as well for it we're going to crank up our heat now to medium and there's a little bit of moisture in the potato from when i washed it it was drained but there's still going to be some moisture in there but that video was strictly a fry aloo with just fry aloo, <clears throat> how we would typically do it. And, and for the most part, it is the same recipe that you're seeing here, except we're gonna add that salt fish bowl jaw at the end to really pick up the flavor profile on this dish. It's time to add some salt. Later on, you can adjust the salt, but what I, what I must mention is since we're adding the salt fish bowl jaw, which is salted cod, to this dish, don't go too heavy with the salt at this point. After you add the salt, this goes all later on, is when um, you can adjust the salt. Now, here's the thing you can have started with the salt, this goes all first in the pot, but my thinking, my way of doing it, is to add it near the end because I find that it loses the essence of that saltfish bozo when you add it too early. So near the end is when we're gonna add it. And as far as the dish itself is concerned, um, yo, one of the weekends my parents were down, my mom brought fry aloo with um, saltfish bozo on the side and eating them side by side with some hot sada roti, my mom was like, whoa, wait a minute. Why don't you put them both together? And thus became this recipe. Yeah? So, you know, it's one of them things. It just happened by mistake. And then all of a sudden, you, cook. you have a nice recipe here, boy. Whenever you have that leftover sausage burger. Basically, all you want to do at this point now is to keep an eye on things. Um, the heat is turned down. You just want this to cook all the way through. If you have a lid, Place the lid on there and let that sort of steam cook in there. You want it to add a couple tablespoons of water just to help it come along. You can always do that as well too. One of the other reasons I like, I like using this pan, it's because it's really wide. So there's a bigger cooking surface. So more of the potato comes into contact with the heat um, of the stove basically. So put the lid on if you have a lid. I might don't have a lid but um just let that cook all the way down we want that to get nice and tender yeah look what i found <laughs> uh, this had a lid all along and he didn't even really realize that anyhow i've stirred it a couple times already you notice the caramelization that was on the bottom and i'm just flipping them over like so starting to break down it's been 15 minutes it will take another 10 minutes or so so what we need to do now is, and don't mind if it, it breaks up like that, that is cool. What I'm gonna do is put back the lid on there, but before I put the lid back on, 
here is where I'm gonna add that salted cod bojo but it wasn't salted cod it was pollock to the mix and I like adding it at this point now because what it's gonna allow us to do is get some of the and I'm just gonna leave it on the top let the sort of steam pull down some of the flavor in between there and the reason why I want to put it in now as I said there is to flavor everything we didn't put it in early because I find that it's gonna lose its flavor I'm gonna put the lid back on and give that another 10 50, maybe 10 minutes but the other reason why we like putting it now is what it allows us to do in about five minutes we can taste everything and make sure the salt is correct before we add any salt five minutes later and I'm just gonna hit that to flip now like so just to incorporate all of that salt such bourgeois into the fry oven. I'm telling you man the smell in this kitchen is just incredible if you like salted cod man I'm telling you I keep saying salted cod but this one here was done with pollock as I said and the recipe is available at caribbeanpot.com and youtube.com slash caribbeanpot so all we're going to do now I'm going to crank up my heat this is nice and tender here's where you're going to personalize things you can leave it as it is here this sort of color apologies for the noise but it gets stuck in there and it's one of the reasons why I said using a non-stick pot or pan is a lot better um, as far as personalizing it taste it now and adjust the salt accordingly and what I like doing is cranking up the heat to medium and I'm going to leave the lid off because I want some caramelization some sort of bun bun as we call it at the bottom down there I'm just going to make full use of the surface here and I'm telling you boy you see this right here <laughs> with sada roti I'm telling you boss up shot roti parata roti it is just incredible I'm not making a mess on the stove too boy anyhow lit up sub soldiers listen if you enjoy this recipe I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing if you've made the recipe take a picture and send it to me email address down here I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it and tag me on Instagram at Caribbean pot I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today Irene, Irene. Now just before I shut off the stove here, I'm just going to give it one more quick stir. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. If you still have any more leftover um, <clears throat> saltfish bulldog, I have another recipe coming up where we're going to make full use of any leftovers. Irie? Irie. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe. Hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.